Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to begin today's show by featuring one of Key West's favorite artists. Now, she's been an artist down here in the Keys for over 30 years. She's basically been in every gallery at one time or another, so you might be familiar with her work. You can see some of her pieces right now right behind me. What's interesting is that for many years, she did menu illustrations, but now she's focusing on painting and drawing, not to mention she's having a wonderful time making fascinator hats. You can see one in my hands right now, and these hats are just fabulous. Judy, thank you for being on the show Hi. with me today. Thanks for having me. I love the hats. I absolutely <laughs> love them. We're going we're gonna to be talking about those later on in the show. But Judy, how long have you been down here in the Keys? I came down in the 70s, mm -hmm. and um, I started working in commercial art and did that for a long time. And then when computer art started coming in, mm -hmm. I kind of reverted back to the more basic. I went back to charcoal, which is the oldest artist medium there is, and um, started focusing on drawings and and painting. Paintings. Okay. Well, fortunately for us, you're focusing <laughs> on that because now we get to experience your work. And you have been in basically all the galleries. So how did that all come about, Judy? I've been here a long time. You know, mm -hmm. the galleries come and go, and I move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, what are you in right now? Right now, I'm a studio artist at the studios of Key West, and mm -hmm. I have um, most of my current work up there. Mm -hmm. in town. I have some work in other places, but um, that's, that's my main, your main, your main venue place right, right now. now. Alright, let's talk about some of your favorite Although things. Although I have some of the hats at So Do Gallery. Oh, so. okay. The hats are so fabulous. I <laughs> love these. Alright, Judy, what are some of the, your favorite subjects to paint or draw? Well, most of my, uh, well, a lot of my work is figurative. I like the human figure, mm -hmm. and I do a lot um, do a lot of that genre in both drawing and and painting, but mostly in drawing. In painting, I stick mainly to flowers. Uh, started out doing plein air painting, outdoor landscapes and things like that. Uh, and I still like landscapes. And but flowers and nature end up being most of the painting subjects, and then the drawing. Is mostly figurative, although I do nature, flowers, and landscapes with them too. Mm -hmm. Would you say you get a lot of inspiration being down here in the Keys, Judy? Oh, indeed, indeed. I came down here. Uh, I was in graduate school in experimental darkroom techniques, and I got down here, and I couldn't stay in the darkroom because mm -hmm. you know, the, and I couldn't continue working with black and white, you know, which was what I was doing at the time. Mm -hmm. because there was too much color down here. So it was a big change for me. You know, I just I realized, okay, I've got to refocus here. <laughs> got to refocus. You have to get out in the light. <laughs> yeah, I have to go outside. I'm sorry. <laughs> Judy, have you always been doing art your whole life? I have, yeah. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, that was my main entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as a child, we lived in a lot of really out-of-the-way places, so I had to figure out a way to entertain myself. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that was it. And it, um, it did entertain me, has entertained me all this time. <laughs> How do you compare with some of the art other artists here in the Keys, Judy? Um, I've been here, like I said, I've been here a long time working in the arts. And I wrote about arts for a couple of the newspapers, too. And so I know a lot of the artists in mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. And um, Who are some of your favorites? Uh, there are just some spectacular mm -hmm. artists in town. Uh, my studio at the studios of Key West is next door to Pam Hobbs' studio, mm -hmm. and you know she does those wonderful, tropical, happy, colorful paintings. Mm -hmm. um, it's really great being in the studios because that's a nice uh, group of really creative people, and that's an inspiration. Mm -hmm. And we have some people doing. <coughs> pardon me. Uh, <coughs> fiber as well, and they have the rotating. <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. They have the uh, rotating artists, the um, residents who come in. So every month you have some new inspiration, mm -hmm. and that's fun too. Mm -hmm. 
Because the, I think that being around so many other artists here, that has to push you, too. It yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really has. does. And, and you know, it really expands you to the more you see other people working. Mm -hmm. The more work that you start doing. Well, right. we're going to take a quick break right now, Judy, but we're going to come back and talk about these fabulous hats and how you got in to the hat-making business. <laughs> Great. Please stay with us. We'll be right back after this message. 